What's up everyone and welcome to a new video. I'm pretty excited because we're gonna be talking about 360 video and how you edit it. It's pretty complicated, but it's really not that bad once you understand a couple techniques that I have. Now, if you don't know what 360 video is, check out my review of the Insta360 1R linked in the description down below because this is the camera I shot all of today's footage on. Now, keep in mind that Insta360 is actually running an end of season sale right now, so you can get this camera for 10% off and you can get a smaller Insta360 Go, which I'm gonna be getting soon, for 20% off. So click the links in the description down below if you want to jump into 360 cameras, now is the time. All right, let's jump on the computer. This is the Insta360 Studio app. Now, once you pick up an Insta360 or any camera, it typically will have an app and you can export in there. You can do anything you want. So let's talk about 360 video. When you film in 360, it typically looks like this as the raw footage. Now in the actual app, you can go into freeform and you can keyframe all over the place and that's pretty much what I typically do for editing. However, I want to show you how to do it within Premiere Pro because you can get a little bit more advanced with keyframes and how you change the speed and really get the look that you want. So for starters, let's just go to view I'm basically just using this app to export my clip. So I have this clip down here and I set an in point right here and an out point close to the end where I don't really need it. And what I'm gonna do is simply click this export button at the top right. I'm gonna name this something that I like, bike ride. And I'm gonna leave all the resolution and settings the same and basically click okay. I wanted to quickly let you guys know that I have partnered with Adobe Video World to give you a 10% discount, which is basically a huge virtual conference, September 12th to 17th, that will allow you to learn more about Premiere Pro and After Effects from the industry's leading professionals. And the best part is you can actually get your ACP, which is the new Adobe Certified Professional Certification, and it's an industry-recognized credential that's not available to the general public. So if if you sign up and use my discount, you can actually get that certification, which is pretty incredible. More information at the end of this video. So now I have Premiere and let's talk about the next step. What we need is this effect called Reframe, GoPro FX Reframe. If you head on to insta360.com and go to downloads and then go to downloads for the Insta360 1R and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you're going to see this GoPro FX Reframe plugin. Simply click download and then once you click download, all you're going to do is click install. Close Premiere and reopen Premiere. And then when you reopen Premiere, you'll get the GoPro FX Reframe. So now all I have to do is drag that exported video into Premiere Pro and as soon as you drag it into your timeline, it's gonna look like this. It's a little interesting and kind of all over the place, but I'm gonna show you how we can adjust this clip. So a couple things to note, my sequence setting is in 4K at 3840 by 2160 and we have black bars. So all we need to do is click this reset button on the scale of our 360 clip, that way it's 100%, and then type in reframe and drag on GoPro FX reframe. As soon as you drag that on, it looks like this. Now that means we have to change our projection down here. So click on this button right here and make it to whatever you are editing in. For this example, I'm doing 4K. So as soon as I click 4K, it looks like this. And what does that do? Well, if you click on the GoPro reframe, you'll notice that we get these faint bars right here. And these are pretty cool because with this, now in Premiere Pro, we can click and drag around and move our image. And you can learn the shortcuts, which I'm going to go over here right now. So. As you can see, the pan camera, if you drag it to the right, it goes to the right and left to the left. That is this entire center area. You can pan and tilt by clicking and dragging anywhere in the center. Now that covers both the pan and tilt. The rotate camera is actually going to rotate your camera around that pivot point, which is pretty incredible because I have been wanting to do that for a while. Also, if you click on the right hand or the left hand side and drag, that will also rotate the image. And the lens curve will actually adjust your lens speaking to the edges. Now, if you click and drag this tiny square on the outside, that will adjust your lens curve. And your zoom, you guessed it, controls the zoom of your 
360 view. So you can get these really wide shots that are pretty cool. And also this top portion and bottom portion controls the zoom as well. So you can already see that I love this plugin because you can quickly and easily adjust the image as needed to get the look that you are going for. Now, there are a couple advanced controls, but I'm really not going to adjust anything in here. But check this out. We actually have a shutter angle right here, which is awesome so that when this is spinning really fast with keyframes, it will actually create motion blur. So I'm pretty stoked that that is in there. Wow. I'm so happy. Now, one final note before I show you some tips and tricks is that this box is only going to show when you are selected on your GoPro FX reframe. So if that disappears and you can't click and drag, don't be like, Kyler, it doesn't work. No, you just have to click on GoPro FX reframe. So let's do this. Let's go from the beginning right here and I'm going to click and drag on to me. And what I'm gonna do is basically add keyframes on everything all of those settings and I like to highlight all my keyframes and go to Bezier. One other thing to keep in mind is that you might want to change your playback all the way down to an eighth. This is pretty heavy on the computer. So I'm going to scroll a couple frames forward and then click and drag in the center to adjust my keyframe. I'm going to click and drag to the left on the bottom to zoom out a tiny bit and I think that looks pretty good. So if we play this back, check what happened. As you can see, we have our first keyframe and then it's slowly going to move into our next keyframe, which is the wider shot right here. Let's do a quick spin right here. So what I'm gonna do is go a couple frames after that second keyframe set and I'm just going to manipulate the rotation. You can do it over here in the keyframes by clicking and dragging and it will rotate your image or you can use these sides right here and rotate your image, which I really like doing because it's so fun and satisfying. So once you get it all the way a full 360, check out the motion blur that is happening, which is incredible that it's included in this plugin. If I play this back, it looks like this. It's very instant and it doesn't look that good. We can go into our rotate keyframe and click this down arrow and see what our keyframes are doing. As you can see, it's very linear. So I'm going to right click on my first keyframe and go to ease out, right click on my second keyframe and go to ease in. If I zoom in here a bit, you can start to see my ramp. And this is where the fun happens because with this plugin, we can actually manipulate and adjust this ramp however we want. So typically, if you want this to be fast in the center, I'll drag the bottom half out to the right and the top half out to the left as well. And you can start to see how our ramp would go nice and slow, really fast spin, nice and slow to a gradual stop. So if we play this back from the beginning, it looks like this. So obviously that looks a heck of a lot better than the original one that we had, but you'll have to keep playing around with this because now that you can add keyframes within Premiere Pro, you are only limited to your mind because you can get pretty creative if you have objects that you are trying to track onto and you want to adjust the speed of these pan and tilts with the keyframe speed adjustment, which is pretty cool because you can get these nice seamless whips I mean, look how clean that is. That is just a couple seconds of playing around with these keyframes and the motion blur looks great. So keep in mind with all of these ramps, you can change and adjust. Like if you want it to be a quick jolt and then smooth, just drag your first keyframe straight down and make sure the ramp looks like it's going downhill, kind of like a start of a half pipe. And that will create this jolt effect, which is pretty cool. Boom, it like pops to the side and it looks so good. So I'm gonna show you another example with this longboarding clip that I have right here. I'm going to click reset on the scale and then just drag on GoPro FX reframe and then change my projection to GoPro 4K. 
now when we have this let's click on GoPro reframe and we can click and drag around and start adjusting our image once you get the feeling and the hang of what each one of these quadrants do it's pretty incredible and powerful to be able to do this within Premiere Pro so I'm going to do the same as always set a keyframe on all of these areas and I'm gonna go a couple frames or as far as I want forward and adjust the keyframes as needed click on GoPro FX reframe get a look like that and we have two keyframes let's go into the middle of those keyframes and start adjusting this accordingly I think it'd be cool if we did something like that and then zoom this out a bit so it kind of looks like I'm swooping down. Now remember to keep in mind of your keyframes. So since we set three keyframes, I know that my first keyframe is pretty harsh starting. So I'm going to highlight all of those and right click, go to ease out. I'm going to go to the middle and go to bezier because I want it to smoothly transition between the middle keyframe and into the final keyframe I don't want it to be a harsh stop like right there so I'm going to highlight all those keyframes right click and go to ease in now if I pull down the speed graph of one of these or both of them you can see that we have a smooth ease out into a bezier which creates like an arc and then into an ease in and now if I render this out you can see what it looks like as you can see we're starting our first keyframe adjustment it's nice and smooth and it smoothly goes back into that next keyframe now this is pretty incredible because we haven't been able to do smooth adjustments to keyframes with 360 video before so i'm definitely going to be using this a lot in my future 360 videos well that's pretty much all i have time for but it's incredible the fact that we can edit 360 video within premiere pro and it works great and it's fast and it's unique and it allows you to do smooth keyframes and adjust the speed of those keyframes is pretty incredible thanks again insta for sending me out the insta 360 one r again check out the review video i did on this thing because it's incredible and also hit up their store because they are running some dope sales right now well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please let me know down in the comments below. Hit that like button because it seriously helps out the channel. And if you have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram. Just shoot me a DM at Kyler Holland and I'll try to get to those as soon as I can.